Yeah, Dewan, this is a widely used drug here in North Carolina. According to Planned Parenthood, over 60% of the abortions they administered in the state last year were medication abortions. So if this Texas ruling were to stand, that's a major shift in the abortion landscape right off the top. And that's before diving into the implications a ban would have on the drug's production and distribution. If FDA approval is overturned, production of the drug would stop immediately, but clinics in states where the drug is currently legal might still distribute whatever supply they have. Legal experts telling ABC News it's unlikely those clinics would face legal action if the drug is legal in their state like it is here in North Carolina. But that just further illustrates a major side effect of this debate, and that's the confusion many people are feeling regarding the status quo. I think you kind of lose some of the confidence in the healthcare system or laws in general. Like people don't feel like they can actually get the justice that they deserve, right? Uh, or autonomy on their over their bodies. I think if we make it illegal, people are gonna it's gonna be bad. People will do things that are not safe for them or their baby. And meanwhile, this is what the supporters of a potential ban have to say. Marjorie Dannenfelser of SBA Pro Life America saying, "Quote." The majority of Americans understand that the abortion pill is dangerous and they see through the abortion lobby's lies. Common sense tells us sending these drugs through the mail unsupervised puts women at risk and that adolescent girls are at an especially vulnerable stage in their development. Now to clarify, Dewan, Mifepristone does remain legal here in North Carolina up until at least April 14th and we are expected to get another ruling from the Fifth Circuit. But we'll hear later on at 11 from a local OBGYN about what this could mean for the future of abortion for women here in North Carolina. That full story coming up here in just a few hours. We're live in Raleigh. Sean Coffey, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.